Well, here we are in video 7 of the Evil Clutches tutorials, and we are learning how to use Game Maker Studio 2. So far in the tutorials, we've covered all the skills that are highlighted here, and we are going to learn some more today. In this video, we're going to be looking at collisions between objects and how to deal with that particular event handler. So, so far we have done with all the specifications in relation to the mother dragon and the boss demon. Um, we have created our babies and our demons and have them move randomly across. Okay, so the first lot of collisions we're going to do is for the demon object. So I'm just going to open up my demon object again. If you've closed him, just have a look at it in the resources bar and open him up from down here, object demon. So, what we need to do is we need to react when the demon collides with the fireball, the demon and the fireball both have to disappear. So let's have a look at that. What we're going to do is add event, All right. and the add event we're after is a collision event. So I'm going to say for collision with the object fireball, then it actually has an impact here. So let's have a look object fireball so what we're going to do is if we collide with the object fireball we want to destroy an instance um, destroy the instance here All right and now with the destroy instance I'm just going to show you we've got a, a few different options here of what we can choose so you can choose to destroy self by default we can destroy others, or we can destroy fireball, um, or we can destroy the object demon. Now we're in object demon, so if the demon clashes with the object of the fireball, then what we want is we want the demon to be destroyed. Yep, that makes sense. But we also want the fireball to be destroyed, otherwise the fireball is just going to keep plowing through all the stuff behind it. So we're going to destroy an instance of the self which is here, self, and we're also going to destroy another instance. And the second one we're going to do is destroy instance of fireball. Okay, so let's see how that looks. I'm going to have that run. All right, so, yep, the demon's hitting the fireball and he's crashing. Now I want you to start looking really closely on this. We can get another demon out. Now, if you, it's a bit hard to see, but you notice that when the demon actually gets destroyed, all of the fireballs disappear. And that's not what we wanted. What we actually wanted was we wanted just the fireball that was hitting the demon. So, this instance here, the second instance here, when it's saying destroy fireball, it means we destroy all the instances of that fireball. We don't want that. What we want is we want to destroy just the instance that it's colliding with. And that's this what this other means. So destroy other means whatever else this object is colliding with. So when the dragon collides with the fireball, destroy the dragon and the other in this collision is the particular instance of the fireball that's hitting the dragon. So that's our two instances there. We've got destroy the dragon or the instance of the dragon called self and destroy the instance of the fireball that is called other. Right here. So that is our crash in with the collision with the fireball. Now there's a second collision we need to worry about with the demon. And actually I'll just show you that that's working properly. So we'll go here and so you can see that all the other fireballs are still staying except for the one that hit the actual dragon. Okay, so the second collision we need to worry about is a collision with the dragon, the object dragon. So let's see, we need to add an event, we need to add another collision. We need to add, so it's down here, and we're making the collision with the dragon. Okay, so the object collides with the dragon, then what we need to do is basically we need to restart the game because the game has been lost and so to do that we need to find restart and 
restart room, restart game. So there we go. Simple as that. If the demon hits the dragon, then we restart the game. So let's just test that and see if it works. Yep, so the game's restarting. So cool. So that is now all the de all the demon um, collisions all set up. So I'm just going to minimize the demon there. And now we need to go down to the baby. Okay, so we have two collisions again with the baby. One is with the fireball and one is with the dragon with two different results. Okay, so the first one is, let's see, at event, collision with fireball and what happens with the collision of the fireball is the exact same thing as with um with the demon is that we have destroy instance we have destroy instance of self and remember destroy instance of other so that's the self is the baby and in the collision and the other is the fireball in the collision we also need to add in the event of collision with dragon and at the moment all we're doing with that is when we just collide with the dragon that we just destroy the instance of self of that particular baby so there is our two collisions and um yep that's all completed up now let's just play that and see if it works so enjoy avoid demons oh damn and get babies. Yay! Let's see. Yep, the babies disappear that way, and if I shoot a baby, they also disappear. That's cool. Radio, let's do what we want. No worries. Well, that's the end of that little video. Well, there you go. We are getting pretty close to the end now, and we now have a game which the babies and the demons, when they collide with the mother dragon, um, act appropriately. To complete this tutorial you've had to learn how to use the collision event and look at actions like restart and also understand the concept of self and others in relation to instances.